It is now integrated with the FARDC, the forces of Congo. That's the problem. So they have almost become one and the same. So if you attack me, yeah. do you then start giving me instructions of how I should react? I need somebody to show me how we started the problem. I read the, 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 no. the experts report. Don't they say something about the government of Congo? They, they, they condemn hate speech. No. They condemn the support to FDRR mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Fine. So what, what is the answer to these ones? What it comes out in the end, even with the, mm. in the media and so on, mm. is only the story about Rwanda and M23. If you think Rwanda is actually in the Congo, the reason would be what is in that report. FDLA. Oh, yes. When you said in a speech you made one year ago, Mr. President, to the Parliament in Kenya, Rwanda, I read the translation. As we are a very small country, our doctrine is to go and fight the fire at its origin. This type of statement can give a reason to those who claim that Rwanda is intervening in, uh, in Congo. Yes, but as long as there is a reason, that reason, yeah. I don't give a damn. Mm. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Precisely, mm. this is what I've been saying, and that's what that statement means. If you are causing me problems for many anywhere, right? Why don't I have reasons to go and fight them? Mm. Why? If you are preparing, you are arming, and you are grouping FDR to attack Rwanda. So FDLR, and then FDLR is not a residual movement? It is now integrated with the FARDC, the forces of Congo. That's the problem. So they have almost become one and the same. So if you attack me, yeah. do you then start giving me instructions of how I should react? I need somebody to show me how we started the problem. Let's not deal with the fabrications or just creations of some people. Let's deal with the facts. Let somebody present a fact where Rwanda crossed into Congo to cause problems there that were not there. But if, if I crossed because of what came from Congo? This is what I'm saying. Do you think that uh, M23 should withdraw uh, from the areas it controls? And if it refuses uh, to do that, uh, do you support the idea of an intervention of uh, the regional force? The M23 hmm. needs to stop fighting. They should even withdraw to an extent as a ordered by the region. They want to withdraw to Rwanda, ever, because they don't belong there. In the same breath, make it, you see, things must be handled uh, together. In the same way, the government must be seen to be doing certain things to make sure that the forward movement is obtained and uh, we go to a point of a solution. Withdraw of M23 to whatever point you want them to withdraw to is not an end in itself. It does not provide a solution. The solution comes from them doing that while other things are also happening at the same time. Right? Now, in fact, something else that is going to happen and is beginning to happen, I have made that statement as well. Mm -hmm. This emptying of uh, Congo, uh, trying to empty Congo of uh, these uh, Tutsis and throwing them across the border has to stop. We are not going to be a ground where you just uh, dump people you are persecuting. 
in broad daylight. If my memory is good, the last time you, you, you met with President Tshisekedi was in September in New York with yes. President Macron. Yes. And without convincing results, of course. And is it possible to speak again with a man who says that the problem is you personally, that you must leave power, <laughs> that he is ready to help Rwandan people in that objective? Is it possible for him to do that, actually? This is the question. <laughs> I think the issue is, 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 does he really find it possible to, to do that? He can think about that, he can entertain that. He can uh, help. He's already doing that. When he's helping FDLR, he's already helping. Uh, no, but in the end, he needs FDLR's problem more than uh, he can actually help them because they have turned into a force that is fighting for him. Are, so, uh, talking, yeah. what would I be talking to him about in any case? So you don't need to blame Rwanda or Kagame or whatever. You have to think rationally, you have to say, did we have problems even before Kagame? Uh, the RPF government, which it is, yes. Then, uh, did you address these problems? Are you addressing them, or are they the ones continuing or even getting worse? These would be matters of governance, or accountability, utilization of their resources for the development of their people. Uh, I'm sure those enormous resources are just being used by maybe to, 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 to improve or for the benefit of the less than 1% of the Congolese, of uh, which is now, are they coming to 100, 90, 100 million or something? There are so many. So imagine 1% of that is probably the only one benefiting from the enormous resources of the 99%, nothing. So is that Kagame's problem? Am I the cause? So how does Rwanda become the main problem of Congo, even by these leaders, if they were to be honest. You have, as I said, in Eastern Congo, over, actually they are saying about 120 armed groups. This is a, a, a great, this is considered too by government itself and others. Are we the ones who formed the 120 armed groups? How practically, maybe if, if, if constantly accusing us of uh, M23, okay, let's take responsibility for that, even if that's not true. How about the rest? The other over 100 armed groups. Can we be blamed for that? Mr. President, you have positioned Rwanda as a country with a solution to the global migration crisis, uh, striking deals with Brighton, Denmark and uh, Israel. But critics say that, uh, first of all, uh, you are looking to benefit financially, geopolitically and in terms of external image mm. uh, from the arrangements because of your records and your human rights. Alors, how do you respond to mm -hmm. this comment? First of all, why don't others do the same? Why don't others benefit by doing the same? Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if, it is a, if Rwanda is thinking about benefiting from all of this, okay. First of all, those who have, are having migration problems. Why do they have migration problems? And why don't they find a solution? Uh, Without Rwanda, you see, this is why I can't understand the critics, what they are talking about. They are blaming Rwanda for contributing to solving a problem. And Mr. President, relations with, um, with France, yeah. good, no. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Uh, but in December, Paris has added his voice to uh, those who are asking really to stop inter in so-called intervention in, uh, in DRC. Mm -hmm. Are you disappointed about, uh, by this position? 
that position was ill-informed and it was not necessary. So I hope France can address it properly and better. But uh, they should, those who got involved in voicing different things about us and about this situation, they should also have uh, thought about the sensitivities of that. Uh, because there are sensitivities of that. You, you don't want to just uh, act irrationally uh, to please uh, one side for one reason and uh, do it at the expense of the other. Mr. President, there is an unavoidable question. Mm. Next president's election, Rwanda yes, is... Yes, please. Next year, would you be a candidate? Yes and no. I'm not sure. You can... But there is a possibility. You can have a surprise for your compatriots? I, I, I'm waiting to see what... For them, your candidacy, candidacy is thinking, beyond doubt. Yeah, sure. So, two things. Uh, I have to make a decision, of course, personally. Yeah. I can decide to say, you know, I, I, I don't think what I'm doing is worth it. Uh, this time around, and I would beg uh, those who are arguing me to to run, that they leave me alone and uh, I, I become a free person and do my own things. Is that possibility? The other possibility is I will think about it. And if there are, I find real reasons these people are presenting and have belief and how many and well, you can, you can consider. In his famous book, Mr. Yeah. President, The Prince, Nicola Machiavelli mm -hmm. says this, it's safer for a leader, for a prince, for a leader, to be feared than to be loved. Do you agree with that? No, I don't agree. I would have used a different word. It is important for a leader to be respected.